Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on H4. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about H4. And I want to show you the all-time chart because remember back in 2021 when H4 hit 47 cents? You know, back then, we did not have the growth that we have today. All throughout this entire bear market, it has been nonstop growth for Hedera. And it, no price movement on HBAR at all. I'm expecting once this next run-up starts, HBAR is easily going to achieve a dollar. I still think it's going to hit $3 plus. But people will tell you, HBAR is a dead cryptocurrency. Wait until it breaks out. Everybody is going to want to have it. Because this is a cryptocurrency that is the future. HBAR is not going anywhere. Eventually, utility is going to be driving the price of this cryptocurrency. Miu, a project tokenizing fashion high-value products on Hedera has partnered with Temperly. Real-world asset revolution is happening on Hedera. Again, tokenization happening inside luxury fashion market on Hedera. Hedera has so many different use cases. Anything you could think of most likely is already happening on this network. Somehow, some way. The Hedera network has broke its previous record of 250 million transactions in 24 hours, now reaching an impressive 265 million transactions within the day. Honestly, I expect this to even pick up more momentum. Think about Drop and Fed now. And then you look beyond that, the Coupon Bureau. I'm still expecting big things there. But transactions on Hedera are only going to gain more momentum. Hashgraph Association to explore digital asset use cases with Qatar stakeholders. The organization said on its official LinkedIn platform that it would look into the tokenization of equities, real estate, and Sukuk, an Islamic financial instrument similar to conventional bonds. The nonprofit would also explore digital asset use cases for sustainability, such as carbon credits. Everybody is pushing towards carbon credits because that's going to be a multi-trillion dollar market. And we're getting in on the ground floor. I'm not a fan of carbon credits, but I know I'm going to get rich off of carbon credits. That's the way I look at it. But then think of that tokenization starting to pick up momentum as well. That's also going to bring a lot of value to this network. Think about HBAR moving tokenized assets from one country to another. We are excited to announce the latest upgrade of our UI before the mainnet release. New UI, more dynamic and aligned with our brand design. Integrated Supra price feeds. New bug bounty campaign. 150 H bars per bug. And you see AI driven lending on Hedera. Hello, DeFi future. Dark mode is coming, but unsure if it's ready for mainnet launch. Liquidity UI will follow due to RPC load, but liquidation works anyway. Solidity De devs, check out our rewards, the highest in the market. Again, AI coming together with blockchain now around lending i like where this is going eventually we will be getting passive income by using ai for lending and borrowing of our crypto maybe not the retail degen market but when the corporation's ready to play they're absolutely going to care when you look at the governing council hedera's governing council that alone should make you want to buy more HBAR. Do you honestly think HBAR is a dead cryptocurrency when it's tied to every one of these major companies? I don't think so. 
HBAR is the future. Neuron World. The Hedera base D Pin announces a $3.5 million seed round to build the everything map. You know, I always was a fan of Neuron. It's one of my favorite use cases building out on Hedera. Eventually, this is going to lead to drones delivering your packages. Neuron is empowering a new era in D Pin where individuals and businesses can run services independently and own their relationship with their customers. In today's landscape, centralized platforms dominate service delivery. Examples include FlightTrader24, Uber, and Fiverr. Users rely on interme intermediaries that control their data, access, and customers, often providing unfavorable terms of use and operating practices and high commissions on each transaction. Neuron is changing that. It dismantles the traditional model by empowering service providers to operate at the edge, interacting directly with their customers, bypassing intermediaries and unlocking greater transparency, performance, control and efficiency for their services. Neuron's open source software enables devices at the edge to discover services connected to them and pay using Neuron's machine-to-machine -machine payments infrastructure, which includes innovative customer refund protections. This allows both manual and automated devices and systems to transact seamlessly and ensures payments are safeguarded and guaranteed by service level agreements. Think about cutting out the middleman. You're going to be buying things in the future and you're going to be buying it directly from the you're going to be buying it directly from the merchant and the merchant is going to be using a service like this and delivering it directly to your house. And I like the idea of where this is going. This is also always expanding and building out all the time. Accenture Invest in Mtech Inc., whose CBDC solution is built on the public Hedera network. H Hedera is also tied to CBDCs through Mtech. And you know, this shows you that HBAR is part of the new financial system. It's also part of ISO which is going to be very big next year. People keep downplaying it all over X, retail investors. Wait until the value starts coming from that. Plus, Mtech was also founded by former IBM blockchain executives. And IBM is also on the governing council at Hedera. You see how it's all forming one massive network. Internet of Payment by Seals Q Corp powered by Hedera. So this is what they're doing. So next generation semiconductors will be equipped with advanced capabilities that address the growing demands of Internet of Payments applications, including secure autonomous transactions, embedded secure payment modules, ensure that the Internet of Things devices can conduct transactions safely and anonymously mitigating risk associated with data breaches and fraud, real-time transaction processing, real-time payments, scalability, energy-efficient payment modules. You know, everybody talks about, you know, how great Bitcoin is, but it's energy-consuming. That's why Bitcoin is not going to be part of the future. There's so many other networks out there that are energy-efficient. And then they go on to show how this could be used in automated, automotive, home automation, and industrial Internet of Things. You know, again, there's going to be a lot of payments here happening. And a lot of these payments are going to be automatic payments. In other words, you're going to have vehicles paying, you know, for tolls as you're driving down the road. You're going to have machines paying other machines because we're in the digital age. This is the fourth industrial revolution and only a handful of cryptocurrencies are integrated inside of it. 
You know, when you look at HBAR and you look at XRP and XLM and XDC, you see how they fit into this massive network that's building out. And Q&T is going to be the glue holding this entire network together. And I'm watching it unfold. And I've been pointing it out ever since back in 2022 in video after video. I'm telling you, we're in the middle of a bear market. And look at all the growth around Hedera. Look at all these new use cases that are popping up. And it's nonstop growth. It's like every single day you see growth around Hedera. Yet people still think somehow HBAR is a dead crypto. I just don't get it. We're excited to announce the launch of Asset Tokenization Studio, an all-in-one toolkit for tokenizing regulatory compliant real-world assets and streamlining the on-chain migration of capital markets onto the Hedera network. Developed in partnership with Red Swan, Hashgraph, and IO Builders, the Asset Tokenization Studio enables the seamless issuance and management of tokenized bonds and equities on the Hedera network. The studio offers a full suite of turnkey features, including bond coupons, stock dividends, whitelisting, and compliance with jurisdiction-specific regulations, ensuring that all assets' details are securely managed entirely on-chain. The studio leverages Hedera's security and reliability to support a variety of assets, including customizable bonds. It also includes built-in support for U.S. SEC regulations, providing users with the flexibility to comply with their specific regulatory needs. There you have it. Like I said, the SEC is never going to go after HBAR. I think XRP had to go through that because Ripple had to clear the path forward. One of these cryptocurrencies had to make it through an SEC lawsuit and Ripple paid the price. But that whole SEC case was it actually helped the entire crypto space. But this shows you that HBAR and Hedera is already doing things in a re regulate, regulated way. So there's not going to be any problems going forward around tokenization. And because it's turnkey, you can expect a lot of tokenization to happen on the Hedera network. All that value coming to the network is only going to drive the price of HBAR higher. But until it all happens, you got to stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.